matuto! Hello everyone! For this video, we are going to learn all about combined variation. So what is a combined variation? It is a combination of direct and inverse variation. So in the statement, y varies directly as x and inversely as z, means y is equal to k times x divided by z, wherein k is the constant of variation. From that statement, you will notice that combination siya ng direct and inverse variation. So, in our combined variation, may dalawa tayong equation na kailangan tandaan. That is, y is equal to kx over z and k is equal to yz all over x. So, ito yung dalawang uh, equation na kailangan natin tandaan in a combined variation which means that y varies directly as x and inversely as z. When we translate a statement like this, y varies directly as x, kapag direct, as x. So, ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin siya sa constant. And inversely as z, so, ibig sabihin, pag sinabing inversely, i-divide natin siya doon sa ating k. Or, so, product ni k at saka nung ating direct variation. So, that is a combination of uh, uh, variation of direct and inverse. And k is equal to yz over x, yan ang ginagamit natin to find the constant of the variation. So, kailangan lang natin tandaan yung dalawang formula na yan, okay? So, let us have example of combined variation. The acceleration of an object varies directly as the force exerted and inversely as its mass. So, dun pa lang sa ating uh, given situation, alam na natin na combined variation to. Why? Kasi na, na, nandun doon, sige, direct and inverse variation. Another, we have the time it takes to paint a house varies directly as the size of the house and inversely as the number of workers. So as you can see, we have direct and inverse variation. So this is an example of a combined variation. Now let us translate a statement into an equation of the combined variation. Let us use k for the constant of the variation. So let us have number one. L varies directly with M and inversely with P. So, how are we going to translate it into mathematical statement? So, yung L, yung kaunaw na hang, uh, cons, uh, kaunaw ng variable, yun ang ating i-isolate. Equals, varies directly with M. Ibig sabihin, yung M, imumultiply natin sa constant. And inversely with P, i-divide natin yung dalawang yun, uh, yung P doon sa product ni KNM. So, therefore, we have L is equal to KM divided by P. So, that is how we translate that statement. Did you understand? Okay, good. Let's, let us have number 2. B varies directly as C and inversely as the square of D. So, ulitin natin, ang B, that would be the isolated one, B is equal to directly as C. So, ibig sabihin si C, imumultiply natin kay constant, si K. And inversely as the square of D. So, hindi lang inversely as D, kundi square of D. So, therefore, i-divide natin yung product ni K at the C by D squared. So, we have B is equal to KC over D squared. Next, let us have another example. We have y varies directly as the square root of x and inversely as z. So, yan. So, ibig sabihin, that will be y is equal to k times the square root of x divided by z. Let us now try to solve uh, problems involving combined variation. So, given that y varies directly as x and inversely as z, Find the constant of the variation when y is equal to 24, uh, x, when x is equal to 48, and z is equal to 4. So, unahin natin, uh, we are looking for the constant of variation. So, unahin natin ang gumawa ng equation gamit yung statement na y varies directly as x and inversely as z. So, we have y is equal to kx divided by z or yung product ni kx divided by z. 
Now, uh, to find the constant of the variation, we will just substitute the values ng y, ng x, at ng z. So, para matira na lang si x, si k. So, we have uh, y natin is equal to 24. Yan, so, it's a substitute natin. Is equal to k, kopyahin si k, x, what is the value of x? We have 48. So, all over uh, the value of z, which is 4. So, now we're going to simplify it by k times 48 is equal to 48k. So, si 24, kokopyahin lamang and divided by 4. Ngayon, divide natin. 48 divided by 4, we have 12. Yeah, and then copy the k and also the 24. To find the value of k, we need to divide both sides by, okay, by 12. So, dividing both sides by 12, we will have, okay, we can cancel it. So, we have k is equal to 2. So, therefore, the constant of the variation is equal to 2. That is the first method on how to find the constant of the variation. Another method is by using the formula or yung dun sa ating na derived na k is equal to yz divided by x. Using that formula, we just need to substitute the values of y, x, and z. So, we have k is equal to, ang y natin ay 24, and ang z natin ay 4. All over, x is equal to 48. So, 24 times 4 is 96. So, we have over 48. So, uh, 96 divided by 48 is equal to 2. So, therefore, the constant of the variation is 2, which is the same as our first method. So, ganun din yung kalalab. Now, let us proceed on another example. If P varies directly as Q and inversely as the square of R, and P is equal to 20 when Q is 50 and R is equal to 5, Find P when Q is equal to 18 and R is equal to 16. So, in order to solve this, dito may hinahanap na tayo, ano? Pero may binigay na condition. So, we need to first to write the equation. P varies directly as Q. So, we have P is equal to K, Q. And inversely as the square of R. Ibig sabihin, inversely siya, i-divide natin by R squared. So, we have P is equal to KQ divided by R squared. So, now, we will substitute the values noong uh, nasa unahan natin uh, given. P is 20, Q is 50, and R is 50. Okay? So, after substituting, we need to simplify. I-multiply muna natin. 50 times K, 50K. 5 squared, okay, that is 25. So, then copy the 20. Then, i-divide natin. 50 divided by 25. What is the answer? Okay, we have 2K. So, equals, bring down lang natin yung 20. And in order to get the value of K, i-divide natin both side by, yan, by 2. So, we can have, okay, we can cancel 2. So, we have K is equal to, what is 20 divided by 2? Okay, that is 10. So, therefore, the constant of the variation is now, in order to solve for what is being asked in the problem, sabi dyan, find P when Q is 18 and R is 6 gamit yung constant of variation. So, gagamitin lang ulit natin yung formula na P is equal to KQ divided by R squared, pero substituting the values nung K, which is 10, and then yung Q, which is 18, and then yung R, which is 6. So, we have 6 squared. Okay, nakuha? Yan. Now, we have, isi-simplify lang natin, 10 times 18 is 180, and 6 squared is equal to 36. Now, dividing 180 by 36, we have P is equal to 5. So, therefore, ang value ng P natin ay equal sa 5. That's it for the combined variation. So, this is the end of my video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot. So, please, don't forget to subscribe for more video updates.